Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look in the tropics as Hurricane Eda strengthens to a major hurricane and it makes its way to Nicaragua. As of right now, this is the latest forecast. The storm is sustained maximum winds of 110 miles per hour and is moving west towards Nicaragua as 9 miles per hour. There's currently tropical storm warnings and hurricane warnings on Nicaragua and Honduras. The storm is going to make landfall as a major hurricane, weaken to a tropical depression, and make its way back out to the Caribbean, which it may, may strengthen back up their hurricane. This is a GFS ensemble track right now. As you can see, the millibars are lower than yesterday because the storm has undergone rapid intensification. Makes landfall as a major hurricane, goes through Honduras and Nicaragua, and it makes its way out to the Caribbean. After this, we have no clue what happened as of right now. The models are all over the place, as you can see here. Every single line is a model run. Some models have it going out to the Pacific Ocean, or maybe back out into the Gulf of Mexico. As of right now, we really don't know what will happen. If we take a look at the intensity guidance, you can see this, this needs to be updated. The latest runs have it at 110 miles per hour, so it would be placed right at this line right here as a strong category 3 hurricane. This is the initialized at 12Z and this is what it's shown at that time possibly getting up to category 4 weakening back down to depression and possibly even going back up to category 1. If we take a look at the GEPS ensembles it shows it going straight over Central America not going back out to the Caribbean or going through the Pacific Ocean. Some models, yes, do have it going back out to the Pacific Ocean and Caribbean, but the main line is, which the black is right here, shows it just going over Mexico and the Central America. If we take a look at the GFS model here, it shows the cold front in the east is going to pass through, which a bunch of lake effects now, and the cold front in the west is going to come back. You see, Tropical Storm Eta formed south of Cuba, and while this run has it going into the Gulf of Mexico, staying there, strengthening back up to a major hurricane and making landfall on Florida and getting off the coast. This is what we have it as right now with the GFS. If we take a look at the Canadian model though, it shows the same thing with the cold pressure in the east coast, very cold with the lake effects now, and then we see the uh, cold air coming to the west coast. It has this storm moving out quicker into the Gulf Coast, doesn't have much time to strengthen, and interacts with a cold front coming by. If we take a look here, we have the European model. It shows the cold air coming into the East Coast with the lake effects now, the cold air coming into the West Coast as the East Coast starts to warm up again, and you have Tropical Storm Eta start to come into the picture, but then it quickly dissipates. It sits there and does nothing really. It strengthens, dissipates, and does all of that because a high pressure is out in the east coast, a cold pressure in the jet stream is forcing it down to stay there in the Central America and near Cuba. This storm could be a serious rainmaker for the Central Americas and possibly even the Caribbean. As of right now, we really don't know what's going to happen. If we take a look here, we take a look back at the GFS. We have Hurricane Eda strengthening back up to a hurricane, uh, excuse me, a major hurricane, then makes landfall on Guatemala, makes its way through Nicaragua and Honduras, and then it sits there, strengthening, gets back over Cuba, and then goes into the Gulf, and then it gets picked up by the jet stream and forces it over Cuba, and then into Florida. If we take a look at the total rainfall that comes from this, this is a big amount. Anywhere in the yellow is up to 10 to 12 inches, which is a all the way from Guatemala, Central America, all the way to North Carolina. This is a major rain event if this were to happen like this. And the CMC model, also known as the Canadian, has almost similar rainfall totals. Not in the same areas, but has the same intensity. What If we go back to the current storms, this thing has finally formed an eye. Excuse me. It's fine. It finally formed an eye, which means it has strengthened back into a major hurricane. I hope everybody has a great day and the people in Central America stay safe from this storm. Have a good one. 